Did you have a favorite spot that you went to in New York? Oh, what? Levain cookies. Yes. <gasps> yes. Hey everyone, it's your girl Emily Girl with iHeartRadio and today we're catching up again with Girl in Red. We have Marie here with us. Hi Marie, welcome. Hello. It's so good to see you. We were just saying this off camera. I was thinking about it. The last time we talked was February of this year, very beginning, before the album dropped, before anything, and you already had such a loyal following. What has this past year looked like for you leading up to right now? When the album came out, it, it was still very much like hardcore pandemic times. But, you know, it's been interesting. I've been out traveling for the past couple of months. It's been really cool to play a couple of shows in the United States. I did ACL, Music Midtown, like a bunch of other festivals, Firefly. And it was really cool to see the, see the fans again in real life and kind of feel the vibe. You know, I'm from Georgia, so Music Midtown is like such a thing there. How was that for you? Well, honestly, I feel like all American festivals are kind of strange to me because they're so big. Like a third, like one third of like an American festival is like a big festival in Norway. The U.S. is such a big country, so maybe that's why everything's just bigger. But uh, it was, but it was so warm. I thought I thought I was gonna die, but other than that, it was great. <laughs> it does get hot down there. It's the worst. It gets so. It was the so humidity humid. is I, rough. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, speaking of playing live shows, the Make It Go Quiet tour 2022 next year, UK, Europe, North America, so exciting. What goes into the prep for embarking on a tour like that? Yes, yeah, so I'm working on my health because I've realized that I need to work out more and kind of work on my body because playing shows and being a touring musician is kind of like being an athlete, except you get drunk after the show and you don't drink probably if you play football or, or I don't know, maybe you do. Maybe but you do, who knows? I'm definitely prepping more like with my physical body and then Obviously, we're doing a whole lot of stuff behind the scenes to elevate the show, but I'll, I'll let people see that when they come to the show. That's interesting to think about the training. So yeah, what kind of training are you doing? Is it a lot of cardio so you can like sing and run and do the whole thing? Like, what does that look like? Uh, it's cardio, but also just like normal strength, like all the main muscle groups and shit. Uh, but yeah, I, I should run like four times a week. Uh, do I? Not always. I'm trying. Now you have so many great cities on the list of tour spots. Is there one in particular that you're really, really excited to play? I'm really excited to go to Russia because I've never been there. And uh, I know the LGBTQ plus laws and kind of, it's they're not very friendly. So I'm really curious to see like what it's gonna be like there. And also like Poland, I'm really interested in to see how that's gonna be. And also I'm really just excited to play the North America tour, pretty much like every show, cause they're all bigger this year. So I'm excited to see. And they're like almost all, all of them are sold out, which is really exciting. So I'm just excited to fucking play some rock and roll shit. Yeah, I mean, and like you said, if I can make it go quiet, your highly anticipated debut album released this summer. And now that there's been a couple months in between, does it ever surprise you what fans really, really love from the album, especially after this time, versus what you loved when you first put the project out? They're actually kind of similar. I feel like what people are responding to is like what I uh, love the most about the record as well. But I feel like there are some gems on the record that will get like a, a renaissance at some point, you know? Uh, I have a song on the record that doesn't really have a name, but it's called Full Stop. And I feel like that song is like a hidden gem. Like, it's like a deep cut, but even though I don't, I don't believe in deep cuts on my record because I feel like they're all, it should all be radio hits, but. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is there one song or track in particular you're excited to play to a live crowd? Like a huge live crowd on tour? Honestly, one that's growing on me from this trip that I was just on in the States is Body and Mind because it's it's a little bit of a slow one and it's like it has like a little bit of like a kind of like this type of groove yeah but the, cho the chorus is kind of, they hit really hard and like they're really fucking cool and i just i don't know i just need to work on my self-esteem on stage and then i think i'm gonna be able to nail that shit pretty well i have to say that's one of my favorites on the album is that one so i'm excited it's to do that so, one live it's like 
So it's good. It's so cool. It's cool, exactly. Speaking of, I have to ask you, speaking of your trip, New York, you were just here and you said you wanted to move here. <laughs> yeah. Is that ever on the list? Because you know, I'm in New York. New York is the best city on earth, I'm convinced. What did you think about your trip and your time here? I must say New York is a, f it, New York has my heart. Like I love Oslo and I actually just moved into my new apartment. Uh, oh my God, congrats. So that, it's amazing. Thank you. It's super, super exciting. Uh, so I love this place, but if I were to have ever live in two places it would probably probably be like williamsburg or some shit because i love new york the I vibe is it. just so good it's the best i actually just moved from williamsburg it's such a fun part of town did you have a favorite spot that you went to in new york i went to a really cute bookstore somewhere on some corner um oh what levain cookies yes yes so freaking good so good I know, I, love that. I know. <laughs> I did like a bunch of meetings with a bunch of people and they all sent me, I couldn't stop talking about Levain cookies and they all like, I came back to my Airbnb and they all sent like Levain cookies to my doorstep. That's amazing. Um, now speaking of performances, you're gonna perform a few exclusive songs for us today on iHeart, but let's start with your fan favorite, Serotonin, that Phineas was actually a co-producer on, which is huge. What was that experience like working with him? It was fun and kind of strange because we did it over Zoom at some point in the process of making the song, I, I felt like it was really exciting and it had a lot of potential and, but I was starting to lose my way of like making the song a, a little bit. I, I don't know, it was, you get kind of lost making music, but uh, it was good to have him on to give it some extra spice, some percussion stuff and some melodic stuff. And yeah, also just knowing that he really liked it and that Billy really liked it. Just gave me a little bit of a confidence boost to to go all in go, to go all in on the song. If that makes sense, it's definitely definitely feels cool to have someone that you think are great to like your music. So that was kind of like the best part, really, that he just liked it and he wanted to be a part of it. Without further ado, here is Girl in Red's performance of Serotonin. I'm running low on serotonin. Chemical imbalance coming, twisting things Stabilize with medicine But there's no depth to these feelings Dig deep, can't hide From the corners of my mind I'm terrified of what's inside I get intrusive thoughts like cutting my hands off Like jumping in front of a bus Like how do I make this stop when it feels like my therapist hates me Please don't let me go crazy Put me in a field with daisies Might not work but I'll take a maybe I've been breaking daily but only me can save me So I'm capitulating crying like a silly baby I don't wanna let them down I don't wanna let them bail I don't wanna let them dead oh Bad a da ba la da 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 I'm running low on serotonin Chemical imbalance got me twisting things Stabilize with medicine But there's no depth to these feelings Dig deep, can't hide From the corners of my mind I'm terrified of what's inside I get Intrusive thoughts like burning my hair off Like hurting somebody I love Like does it ever really stop When there's control I lose it Incredibly impulsive So scared I'm gonna end up doing something stupid But I try to contain it Oh it gets so draining It's like my heart is failing Every night I'm contemplating My inner voice is saying tough I try to brush it off I try to brush it off I'm running low Serotonin, chemical imbalance got me twisting things. Stabilize with medicine, but there's no depth to these feelings. Dig deep, can't hide from the corners of my mind. I'm terrified of what's inside. Now you have one more for us you're gonna play and this one's called I'll Call You Mine, also from the album. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind this song. Uh, this song is about uh, letting someone in, 
even though you've been fucked over a couple of times and that's really hard letting some letting someone break your walls down uh, so that you can feel close to them and giving someone a chance you know for your fans who love this album who are coming to listen to it on tour if you can have them take away one thing from this album from your music what would it be I feel like I would want them to take away the hopefulness of it because uh, I feel like I'm very hopeful on the record. It's really sad, a lot of it, and but I feel like it all has a hopeful tone. So, and if I can make you a quiet, it's kind of about all that noise and all of that hurtful, painful shit that goes on in your life. But the at the end of it, it kind of takes you to a place of quietness, which is like the outro track. So I hope that people feel hopeful. And then for the tour, again, hearing that you describe the album, and then there's going to be somewhere, I'm sure there's going to be huge mosh pits of songs. How do you navigate going back and forth between those quiet, vulnerable moments to then being these crazy moments on stage? I have no idea. I actually, <laughs> I remember I did, I, I got a review once for a gig I did where someone was actually really like surprised of how well I did that. And I don't know how, but I guess it's just like, you got to be really in touch with your feelings or some shit. But it's kind of because I was just cracking jokes and then I was playing this really sad song. And then the next song I would go all in on just being like, I want to see everyone punch each other. And so I don't know how you how you do that, but you got you just got to go with the flow. I love it. The authenticity of it, I think, really rings true. We got one more for you. Here is Girl in Red's performance of I'll Call You Mine. Um, I'm gonna burn. Sitting in the back seat, we're driving so fast. Hands out the window, but we're not going back. The summer on a green hill, we're laughing so loud. It's taking my body, and you're taking it down. Break me down And I'll call you mine And I know I've been around And I'll call you mine And I'll break me down And I'll call you mine And I know I've been Sitting in the back seat, we're driving so fast. Can't living in a daydream. It's too good to last. A rainy day, some bad luck. I come in my way. I look for you when I'm lost, so I don't go insane. Break me down And I'll call you mine And I know I've been around And I'll call you mine And I'll break me down And I'll call you mine And I know I've been around Show me that you really care, that you really have Show me that you're gonna stay on my worst days Show me like you'll never leave, like you'll never leave, like you'll never leave Break me down and I'll call you Girl in Red, thank you so much again for being here. Congratulations on the album and on the tour and next year. It's always so good to see you. Thank you, Emily. It was great to talk to you, uh, as always. <laughs> next time you come to iHeart, we'll have Levain cookies for you, okay? Oh God, but don't have the walnut ones because I'll die because I'm allergic to walnuts. Is it chocolate chip? Those are my favorite. The warm, gooey chocolate yeah, chip yeah, ones. Yeah, just normal cho chocolate chip. So good. <laughs> you got it. Girl in Red, thank you for being here. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you stream all of Girl in Red's music on iHeartRadio. 
and buy tickets to the tour happening next year. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.